cool. I thought you guys would actually really enjoy this because what I actually do with Illustrator is most of it is logo oriented and most of it is um, path oriented and also just, you know, vector shapes and of course save vector images. Um, so basically today I'm going to show you guys just a um, quick, oh, I'm sorry, uh, just example of what I, um, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is it's a cool text, um, it's called warped text. And you guys are going to see it a lot on, um, you know, a lot of text uh, that I do, um, a lot of text that, you know, anybody who you're really interested in, uh, graphic-wise, you're going to see them be doing it, or they'll have it a lot. Now, as you guys can see, here's a cool little uh, new template layout I did for Obey Lakes. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but that's what it looks like. And as you guys can see, it's a nice um, effect on the bottom, it's a curve, it's a nice warp is basically what I do, and you can do it in multiple ways. Um, I usually have the warp lower instead of up on top, so depends what you guys want, but I'm going to show you exactly how to make a text like that. Now, of course, if you don't have Illustrator, please go to your nearest Mac store, Apple store, which is the same thing, uh, Windows store, Best Buy, whatever it is, pick it up or get it off the internet or whatever it is, get it. It is an amazing program. It is very underrated. Now, you guys definitely need to check it out. But anyways, what we're going to do is just, once you guys have that, we're going to just click on our text tool or type tool, whatever you want to call it, and we're just going to select a pretty big area. And we're going to make a, a a very, a big font size, so maybe about 350. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make rated designs, of course. But um, I'm going to just choose a nice font. Now... As you guys can see, I, I chose this font called Evil Dead. Really awesome font. I love it a lot. And we're just going to make our path uh, box a lot smaller. And uh, we're just going to move it and center it. Now, we're not going to worry about changing the color of the text because, of course, you know, anybody who uses Illustrator, you can do that with fills and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But this is just going to be a warp text tutorial. So after you guys have done that, uh, what we're going to do is, is we're going to transform this text. So we're going to transform and scale. Now you're going to do a non-uniform scale. You're going to not, you're going to make sure this does not scale the strokes and effects. And you're going to make the vertical about 125. And what it's going to do is going to stretch your text. And the reason you're going to stretch it is because when you do warp, um, your text is going to stretch horizontally, not vertically. So after you do that, we're going to take our selection tool or our path selection tool, which they call it the selection tool, and we're just going to select this box. Then after you do that, you're going to go to Effect, Warp, Arc, Lower, sorry. And we're going to do is just Preview. Now, of course, that looks really nice. Um, it's got a nice warp to it, and we're just going to go to about negative 26. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us that nice warp. Now, if you're not into the font that you're using, please change it ASAP, because... Um, you're not, if you're not into it once, you're not going to be into a period. Uh, it, it's not an easy thing to change, nor is it an easy thing. You know, these types of things are very good for t-shirt design and stuff like that. So make sure you like the text, um, arc lower, show your preview, and that's basically yeah. something we have. Um, anyways, what we're going to do is if, if it bends a little too much, you want to find a, a happy medium, and that's kind of what I find. Um, don't go anything about, like too crazy, like 50 word. I mean, your text is just crazy. So that is basically the warp effect. Now, to get the warp effect to its full potential, of course, you're going to have to duplicate this, these layers, of course, with Command-C, Command-V, or Control-C, Control-V. And you're going to want to make, you know, other words. So designs... Selection tool. And we're just going to make this selection tool a little bit bigger. And we're just going to put this a little bit lower. Now, you have your warp. Your warp is done, but you know, it's just plain. What what are you what are you doing? You know, it's very plain, boring, and you know, not much you can add to it. Well, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our selection tool, click anywhere, drag over the all both these layers. Now, if you are on the sidebar on CS6, it's going to show your layers. Now you're going to see both of our, uh, you know, little layers of rated designs that are going to 
be both selected, and on your sidebar there's going to be this little circle with dots around it, appearance. If you don't know where it is, you just go to Window, Appearance, and it's going to bring it here. Now, you can add effects to it, you know, 3D, you know, extrude bevels, stuff like that, but we're not going to touch any of that right now. If you guys want more Illustrator tutorials in the long run, you know, that's when we'll get into that type of stuff, and I will easily do that for you guys. But what we're going to do here is we're going to add strokes. Now, on the bottom left of this little appearance bar is going to add stroke and add fill. First, we're going to add a fill. And the fill we're going to add is going to be a nice, you know, a, a nice gray. And the reason I'd say it's a nice gray is just because it, it gives it, you know, it's a whitish gray. And it just gives it, you know, a cool look to it. Then we're going to add a stroke. Now, our first stroke, you know, it can be any color you really want. Personally, I go with another white, like a pure white, and I go with a seven pixel white. Uh, and then I'm going to make another stroke. Now we're going to keep pulling these strokes in the bottom layers of everything because we're going to keep changing the color. And maybe you know, change the color to the actual color that you want. So if you're a blue guy, go blue. If you're pink, go pink. You know, and you you can change these colors just by clicking down here, and you can actually get a nice spectrum color uh, depending upon what you want. We're going to just go with a nice purple. Maybe give it a nice 18, and maybe 20, and maybe actually a little bit more, maybe about 30 actually. No, 25. And that's going to give it a nice another outline. Now we're going to add another stroke and pull that layer below, and we're going to add the exact same white. Move it up to about 40, give or take. And what this does is, is uh, you know, it just adds a little bit more to the um, text. And, of course, you can move these layers, you know, above each other, whatever it is. Like, you know, move the layer order. And that's basically my text. And what you can do here is to save these and to export them. Photoshop will read most of the above. So, um, you know, when you, me personally, I like to save these as uh, EPS files. And the reason that I save these as EPS files is because um, Illustrator EPS files are very easy to um, convert to vector shapes, and of course it'll convert to a vector shape, of course, but they're also really uh, used for t-shirt designs for EPSs and, you know, labels and stuff like that, so EPSs are very, very high quality, and you just save it to whatever you want, and then you can come into Photoshop, and for instance, if you're making a background, um, I, we'll just open up, um, I'm trying to find one that I did recently, I think I have one on the desktop. Okay, so for instance, I did want something for phase twist. Actually, I think I have a really cool one in here for you guys real quick. Kits EPS. And what you're going to want to do is just open it up. And this is something I made for all of the kits. Now it's going to rasterize your EPS format, of course, because it's a vector shape. It's going to convert it to one shape. It's not going to give you the layer options, anything. The mode, you're going to keep it in that CMYK. Um, Resolution 75, of course, we're going to keep it all the same and just hit OK. And that's going to give you your logo. And the logo, you can just drag on in here and you can go to town. Um, you can do whatever you want to it. Um, my layer styles I usually use for these um, are very simple 2D, and I'll show you guys that real quick. Gradient overlay, switch it to overlay, you usually use about 25%. Eh, uh, drop shadow, we're going to go to 0, 20, spread 50 size. Lower it down to about 35%. And then bevel and emboss are zero size. Untick global white, zero for your altitude, 119 for your angle, 25 for your opacity for your highlight mode. We're going to go to in, uh, inner shadow, one distance, one size, 90 angle, untick global white, of course. So opacity 100% switch your uh, blend mode to overlay and switch the color to white and that's going to give us a nice effect 
So anyways, for people that enjoyed a uh, tutorial on Illustrator, um, please leave a like and a comment. Of course, like the shit out of this video, just period. I'm trying to get some more ideas for you guys, of course. This is a really cool tutorial, though, because I personally use this all the time. You guys will see me with t-shirt designs. Um, I use this on Obey. I use this everywhere. And you're going to see 2D backgrounds like this everywhere. So this is my new style. So hope you guys really, uh, you know, really enjoy it. Um, I've uh, been really, really down in the dumps lately just because I don't feel like my channel is cool anymore and I don't feel like you guys really care anymore about me and I'm sorry if I'm being a complete asshole to you guys but I really just don't feel like anybody gives a shit about Rated anymore and I'm trying my best guys but um, you know to all those who I've upset I'm sorry but you know sometimes being the asshole is the only way you can get success sometimes but um, I'm not I never try to be an asshole it's just, um, if people, you know, find me to be one, I'm sorry, but it's how I am, man. I come out with you guys all the time with this, and also, guys, I want to be giving away a 30k graphics pack. I don't know who's excited. I'm pretty sure you guys are excited. I'm excited. I know that. Um, it's going to come out also, and I'm going to give you guys a little hint. Let's put it this way. Most people go around and they're like, hey, where'd you get those flares? And most of them are like, oh, Code Draco, some of the older guys, or yeah, you know, found them in Arrows pack. Well, Rated is coming out with his own flare pack that I have made, customly made every single flare that I have put out um, uh, using After Effects and Photoshop and many different things. And I'm going to be giving them away. They have been something that I have never given away, and I feel like, you know, you guys have got me 30,000 subscribers almost, so definitely deserve it. So let's get some 30k subs. There's going to be a lot of other stuff on there, but um, please like, comment, subscribe, rate, the sh or rate this video, like the shit out of this video, and um, I'm rated, guys, and deuces.